Hi, today we'll explore the most promising alternative to third-party cookies developed by Google. Topics API, a key part of Google's Privacy Sandbox initiative. As we navigate away from the era of third-party cookies, this innovative approach is set to redefine how you connect with your audience and monetize your content. Unlike the traditional methods that rely on tracking, Topics API introduces a privacy-centric approach. It categorizes web activity into broad topics, stored directly on users' devices. This change aligns with a new era of data privacy, ensuring that your audience's personal information remains secure and under their control. Let's delve deeper into how Topics API functions. Google's Topics API functions in three primary steps for categorizing and using website data. Firstly, the API assigns high-level topic labels to websites based on their content, known as topic labeling. For example, a sports website would be categorized under the topic sports. Secondly, the browser tracks the most common topics from the user's browsing history. It then shares these topics with the websites the user visits and adds one new topic per week. This is known as topic collection and sharing. Finally, it offers mechanisms to access the user's current topics of interest, aiding advertisers in selecting relevant ads. In other words, provides access to current topics. The topics are chosen from a human-curated public list containing about 469 topics. This limited taxonomy helps minimize the risk of fingerprinting and ensures privacy. An essential aspect of Topics API is the concept of epochs. These timeframes, unique to each user, ensure that the data used for ad targeting on publishers' sites is both recent and relevant. Now, let's explore the benefits it offers for each party involved – publishers, advertisers, and users. For users, it represents an advancement in privacy with personalized ads. To begin with, Topics API operates as an improvement over methods like Federated Learning of Cohorts, or Flock, reducing potential fingerprinting surfaces. Another benefit is that user topics, reflecting their interests, are updated weekly, minimizing the amount of shared information. Most importantly, users gain more control over their topics, with the ability to opt out of the Topics API entirely, enhancing privacy. There are two main benefits of Topics API for publishers. Firstly, it offers a way to categorize user interests without relying on third-party cookies. Secondly, large publishers with diverse content may benefit more as they can use broad topics for ad targeting across various subjects. However, smaller niche publishers might face challenges like technical implementation of Topics API and limited control over ad relevance, as Topics categories might not perfectly align with niche contents. However, Google is expected to address this. For advertisers, the biggest benefit is a new taxonomy, allowing personalized ad targeting based on user interests. Advertisers can use Topics API signals for upper funnel advertising or personalized ads for retargeting. However, the utility for advertisers depends on the adoption rate amongst publishers and users. Higher participation leads to more effective ad targeting. As a publisher, to implement Topics API, you should begin by reviewing the list of categories associated with browsing activities. This taxonomy helps categorize user interests in a privacy-conscious manner. Ensure that your website complies with privacy settings and regulations. Topics API respects user privacy, and it's crucial to maintain transparency and user consent regarding data collection. Also, before deploying the Topics API to your entire website, conduct thorough testing. Monitor your site's performance, user experience, and adherence to privacy standards. Address any issues or bugs that may arise during testing. And finally, Consider the top-level site structure when implementing topics. Understand that topics are recalculated for each top-level site, making it harder for third parties to identify users across different domains. Now that all the housekeeping is out of the way, integrate topics into your website's code. Depending on your preferred implementation method, you can either use JavaScript API calls or request response headers in fetch requests or iframes. If you choose JavaScript API calls, 
embed code snippets shown on the screen within iframes on your web pages. This helps mark topics as observed for the current user. Alternatively, use request response headers in fetch requests or iframes by including this snippet in the options parameter. This signals the browser to include this header in the request. As an extra tip, we recommend exploring Google's Colab for topics, a data analysis tool that combines code output and descriptive text into a collaborative document. This tool can aid in experimentation and understanding the API's functionality. Don't forget to check for updates. This initiative is constantly evolving, so Google may refine the implementation process at any time. For you, publishers, the shift from third-party cookies to Topics API means embracing a more privacy-conscious advertising model. It's about understanding your audience's interests without overstepping privacy boundaries. This new model not only respects user privacy, but also enhances the trust and credibility of your platform. We hope you found this helpful. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below. Bye, and see you next time.